Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and then I could deliver my best on a daily basis to your inbox. If you enjoy our watches, well, you can see them and you can buy them on thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, or sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. Today we're discussing the Seiko Sportora Kinetic Chronograph Reference SLQ015. This is a 1 of 1500 limited edition in stainless steel, a fantastic and futuristic biomorphic combination time and chronograph display. It's almost like the instrument binnacle of a Japanese superbike, and it's very much in that frame, in that mode. The watch is handsome, simple, stylish, and sleek in form. It's like a space-age tonneau. The watch is also steel, so it's substantial on the wrist, broad across the wrist, large of form with considerable wrist real estate occupied. The dimensions are roughly 42.5 millimeters from what would conventionally be nine to three. And then the thickness of the watch is Reasonable at 14.8 millimeters, considering the case flank is relatively sloped, so it should be able to slip underneath a jacket cuff or motorcycle gear. Lug to lug, a couple of ways to measure this watch. You're going to find that if you actually measure the edges of the case, it's a reasonable 48.8 millimeters, but if you measure the outermost rigid points, that is the incompressible extremes across the wrist, then it's a far broader 61.5 millimeters. It is substantial, it is hefty, and the integrated bracelet is really key to the look of the watch. So while you could fit a custom strap, why would you? You open up the clasp with twin triggers, it's built the right way, solid, hefty, confidence inspiring. You can see that the clasp using twin triggers is not going to fly open. It has to be positively disengaged and then the clasp body itself is curved to shape and contour to the underside of the wrist. As you can see it traces the soft underside of the wrist in contour while giving you three micro adjust positions that you can access using a strap tool. All of the finish is of a satin character. You can see there are no real high polish elements on the case. Everything is smooth, everything is fluid. The only real polished highlight is the combination of the bevel that runs the full case band and the bevel high polished on the edge of the dial bezel. So polish is used here discreetly and judiciously as an accenting element amid the dominant satin. The dial is conventionally laid out at six o'clock. It's nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, and three o'clock where things get a little bit crazy. You can see that the chronograph is designed to be actuated by opposing fingers. Start, stop, and reset. Time of day, hours, minutes, and seconds. You have a foudron that is operating in a one second sweep down to tenths of seconds. So you can time down to one tenth of a second. Effectively, it can time an interval the way a Zenith El Primero would. Now you have a 60 second register at 12 o'clock and then you have a mono counter at three o'clock. This is superimposed chronograph minutes and chronograph hours. Stop it, reset it, and now you can see that the time, which is fully luminescent at six o'clock and there will be a loom shot. Let's get a little bit closer. But the time features a end of life indicator. So the watch has many features. One of them is this end of life indicator, a two second jump of the seconds hand. You have to shake the watch up because it is after all a kinetic. They recommend shaking it 200 times to fully energize it to the start. And you'll note when energized, but low on power, it jumps in two second increments. That's your reminder that you gotta wear the darn watch. When fully energized, it has an extraordinary 30 day power reserve. They say you can leave the watch sitting for approximately a month and it will continue to run from a full, fully energized state. Now, how does that occur? Well, it's complicated. There is a caliber 1982 38 joule hybrid mechanical and quartz. So the mechanical aspects are the mechanical chronograph and the mechanical winding system. The rotor turns a dynamo that energizes the battery. The battery stores the power that operates the quartz oscillator and the watch is impressively accurate to 15 seconds per month. So quartz does have its privileges. You can put the watch down for a good long time and it's still running. It's also extraordinarily accurate. And you have a display case back to remind you that this is no mean Seiko. The Kinetic System originally launched as AGS during the 1980s, back in 1986, debuted at Basel, and it was one of the first forays into truly unconventional quartz technology. Spring drive would come later, but with Kinetic, you combine some of the appeal of a mechanical watch with the precision and reliability of quartz. Now, the watch is reliable. Being 100 meters water resistant and quartz powered with the month-long power reserve, it has the kind of set it and forget it 
resilience, both horologically and physically, that makes this a perfect sports watch option. You can see that the watch does feature hacking or stop seconds, so you can set it precisely to a known accurate reference time, and there is even a date window with a quick set feature, so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. As you can see, it also features a screw down crown, so this watch offers a firm 100 meters. You can wear this one in the pool with confidence. Of course, lifetime serviceable. This technology in chronograph form debuted around the Y2K era, and the first examples are still going strong. Handsome, avant-garde, very characteristic of the brand that made it, as well as completely unconventional. You're unlikely to see anything like this on the wrists of friends, even among true horological cognoscenti. You might just have a thing or two to teach them. You can see and you can purchase this Seiko Sportor Kinetic Chronograph, the SLQ015, a limited edition of 1500 on our website. And we're back with the Sportora Kinetic Chronograph from Seiko, the SLQ015. As you can see, only the time of day, hours, minutes, and seconds, fully luminescent, but gloriously green, there will be no difficulty distinguishing the time. You'll even note how the mirrored ray hot of the dial creates a cool distortion effect across the luminescent elements. You can see their reflections bending and warping in the night. See it in the light on our website.